Bless the Lord, everybody. I have a quick question. What would you do if you saw yourself face to face with a demon and he said to you, I am sent on an assignment to give you AIDS? What would you do? I don't know what you would do. Maybe you fight, maybe you scream, maybe you run. But assuming you can run. But that was the, my reality that I faced one night. Now, you may want to what? Well, yeah, that was my reality. It was about June 2016, thereabout. I went to my bed and I fell asleep. And I saw myself in a vicinity near my grandma's whole house. And I just saw this spirit in front of me. And he said that I have come to give you AIDS. And immediately as he said that, I felt, it just, it just attacked me. And I felt as if different things was just being pierced in my skin all over my body. And I can tell her that uh, I can't really explain all the things that run through my mind when I felt the things were just piercing my skin. I was like, if this demon is ever successful on this assignment, I can't imagine what life would be like. <laughs> I just could not imagine what life would be like. And I remember I fought. I don't think I've ever fought the way I fought that night just to break through. And when I did, I woke up and, you know, it was a dream. But I realized this was not any dream, you know. It was, in fact, it was really a dream. I was in the spiritual realm and I was being attacked by a demon by the spirit of AIDS. Now, this was nothing new in the sense that for two and a half years, I was being attacked. Night after night after night after night. And if the night was was not enough, I was being attacked during the day. Anytime I was so anytime I fell asleep, I would come under attack by multiple demons. And I can tell you, there's a lot of things that is happening around us. And we as Christians think that is just normal, but I can tell you from my experiences, there's a, a lot of things are normal. And this was because, well, I'll tell you what happened was, that night when I came on that top by that spirit of AIDS and I woke up, I remember I was praying against it for about an hour. And I fell asleep. When I fell asleep, I was back in the spiritual room again and I saw this spirit of AIDS and I was like, yo, what do you want from me? And he was saying that, is your name Math? Or Math, some Math something he said. And I said, no, that's not my name. I am Sharoy. And he was saying, are you sure? And I said, yes, I am sure that is not my name. So I they responded, that means you have the wrong person. Are you going to let me go? And he said, sure. And immediately I heard my alarm went off and I awoke. And then he's like, the Lord spoke to me and said, he didn't let you go because he has the wrong person. He knew who he came for. But because this is all that you normally pray, I showed up and he was running. I was like, that was rather interesting <laughs> to know that anyone was running, but he was just pretending as if, you know, just let, letting me go. But I wasn't comfortable with that, to be honest with you. And I, I remember I talked to everyone, I was like, listen, there is something more that is happening. For two and a half years, I've been attacked by so many different demons, night after night. Anytime I would lay down to sleep, I would be attacked by demons, right? And if I fell asleep during the day, I would be attacked the same way. And I always thought it was because of my fasting that I was doing during those times and seeking after the face of the Lord. Why I was being attacked so much because I've always heard when you see the face of the Lord, the enemy will attack you. And it, that's what I was thinking. But 
I spoke to the Lord and said, no, Lord, there is something more to this. What is it? And I remember someone came up in my spirit that I, I was supposed to talk to this person. So I called them in the morning and I said, listen, I need to talk to you. And they said, sure. And we made arrangements in, in, the, in the evening to meet. And I was explaining to this individual that, listen, I've been tormented by devils, being attacked night after night during the days. You know, during that two and a half years, it wasn't as bad in the sense that I was fasting, I was praying. So when they attacked, I was attacking as well, right? You know, there were times I was on the mountaintop, but there were times when I was really in the valley. And so it wasn't totally, you know, as devastating. But there were times when really I was like, Lord, I want a good night's sleep. I just want a good night's sleep. And I just couldn't get it. You know, and I was explaining to the individual this thing. And he was saying, listen, I don't get any word from God for you. And I was like, what? I mean, I'm, I'm sure the Lord sent me to you and you're telling me that you, know, you don't have a no word for me. No. <laughs> but nevertheless, we continue to talk about what was happening and in the conversation he said that there are times when you can have things in your home that attract demons when he said that immediately a book came to my mind it was a diary that i had for my previous employer and uh, it, was, it was a diary it had the the, the company's logo which also happened to be the high of oris and it was like an open secret that the the owner of the company was once once the grandmaster of a lodge. Yeah. And his daughter, who so happened to be the HR, was the one who gave me the book. So they cursed the book and then gave it to me. But when they gave me the book, I wasn't a Christian. I surrendered my life in the 2014 of January. So it was like a few months before I got the book. But immediately when I surrendered my life in January 2014, I made the attacks. Just, just keep on coming. Right? I I was already baptized in the name of Jesus. I was already filled with the Holy Spirit, but wasn't living the life. But in January 2014, I said, no, I need to get ready because the Lord is soon to come. And that's when the attacks came. And, you know, the Lord protected me. I mean, I saw, during that period, I saw so many demons that, behind sicknesses and diseases, that it was amazing because we we're thinking that, yo, some of these things is just because we are human beings while we are sick, and I realized, realized it is not so. And it's amazing. And you know what was interesting was because I asked the Lord, for two and a half years, because all right, when I found out that it was the book that I had, I went home and I threw it out. As I threw it out, the attack stopped. It stopped. And it amazed me because I was saying, a lack of knowledge and wisdom, it affects us so much because if I had fasted and prayed against them specifically, those demons, I could never have win battle against them and in fact how I, I really intended to but the lord had nudged me in the spirit that don't fast against these demons just seek his face so that is why i was seeking his face for that period of time because i was like hey he said to seek his face though, though like he was saying it was more of a distraction and so i did and i realized you now looking back if i had fought against these demons, I would never win. The attacks would just keep on coming because I had a curse item in my home. And though I was ignorant of it, it didn't make any difference. Because the word of God said, if you do not bring home anything that is a curse, lest you be accursed like it. And ignorance doesn't, you know, help you in that situation. And I said to the Lord, you know, for two and a half years, two and a half years, you saw me being attacked by these devils. And you could have just simply told me that it was a book I had. I just get rid of it. Why didn't you tell me? And the answer I got was so profound. 
he said that you never asked. I said, what? And he's responding, well, you never asked. And I started to search my memory over that two and a half period of years. I was like, you're right. I never asked. I assume that tax was just because of seeking his face and the fasting, right? But there was more to it. And that set, you know, my mindset, you know, even now, because I realize that many of the attacks that we go through as Christians, it's so easy to overcome. It's just because we that knowledge. Sometimes we don't ask the Lord what is it we're supposed to do or how we're supposed to deal with it. We just assume because, you know, we are Christians, there's certain things just expected. And that is what the enemy wants us to believe. You know, and I just felt led to share my testimony because there are persons who may be going through the situation that I went through. And they don't know what is happening. Maybe they are something that is cursed in their home. You know, maybe it can be multiple things that they're affecting them. But I feel like I should share my testimony. And trust me, there's more. There's a more, you know, and I will share in the future. And also things that the Lord has shown me in the scripture in terms of how to overcome the enemy. Because if you know the word of God, if you know it, understand it, really understand it, you realize that, you know, the enemy is no match for God and the, he has put his spirit in us. You know, he has given us his blood, his spirit, his word. He has sent angels to us. He has given us so many things, but we really don't know how to use it. And that is what the enemy is doing. He's playing on our lack of knowledge. But, you know, by the help of the Lord, I'll be sharing my experiences and the, the wisdom the Lord has placed inside of me so I can help you and others to overcome challenges that they face. And so I'd also like to share my testimony. My name is Sheroy, you know. <laughs> so like and subscribe and there will be more videos. The Lord bless you.